Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the Manic Compressor by Boz Digital Labs that's caught my eye because of a few standout features that I want to share with you in this review. The first being the choice of compressors. The Manic Compressor features six very different styles of compressor. So I'm just going to switch between all six of them now. And if you look to the bottom left where the display is, you'll sort of see how each compressor uh, reacts to the drums, which I'm going to be using for this example. So we've got clean, sheer, gritty, digital, Vintage, and smooth. Now what's nice is that we can use these compressors in lots of different ways by using these faders at the bottom. So let me switch back over to clean and play the drums. We have these faders here, we have wet, dry and master. And we can turn these off here, so if I hit dry, turn that on. Whatever we do on the compressor, we won't hear it because that's literally for the dry signal. And if we engage the wet, turn the dry off, this here is what will be uh, our compressor. So if you haven't guessed it by now, this is basically a very easy to use parallel compressor. So put the dry back in. And then we can pull the mix of these down with the master. Okay, so moving on, and to the left of this mixer, we have two EQ sections. So the first EQ manipulates the side chain of the compressor, which is great for adjusting the compressor's sensitivity. Now what's nice is that we can monitor the side chain at the top, which will help us hone the frequencies that we want to either hit or miss the threshold. So you'd use this kind of thing if you were trying to get rid of like a boomy kick from aggravating the threshold. Let me sort of give you an example. So we have the side chain monitor listen there. Let's turn up the bottom ends. There's our kick. Made that very present. Let's bring that back. So now that shouldn't really interfere with our threshold. So we turn back to the main page there. You can actually see that if we turn the threshold in a little bit more. You can see that's actually being triggered more by the snare as opposed to the kick. The second EQ we have is post the compressor, which is great for further shaping the sound. So let's say we want to bring out the top end a little bit. Maybe bring in the bottom end a touch. We can make this pre if we want. But I'm gonna stick it on post, like it there. We can also choose whether or not this goes to the wet fader, the dry, or both. So this is set onto the master, which is really nice, really useful. Now a feature that I've really come to like is at the top here, and it's called loud relief. What it claims to do is let through some of the louder notes whilst keeping a compression-y sort of sound. Let me give you an idea. So this is heavily compressed, you can hear that. And let's use this loud relief to kind of put back some of those natural dynamics. All the way off. Roll it back. Bring the attack back a bit. And with the mix of the dry and bypassed, it does hold it all together quite nicely. So, what are my final thoughts on the Manic Compressor? Well, I think it's a really cool plugin for lots of reasons. The easy to use built in parallel compression mixer. You know, this saves time setting up buses and auxes and all those sort of things. 
The basic yet very usable EQ section, again saving us time having to switch between plugins, this input drive control and beef setting, which adds either subtle or brutal, if I'm honest, saturation. But above all of those is the sound quality. This thing sounds so analog and feels really quite energetic. I think the name really does say it all, Manic. This is one of those plugins you really do have to try for yourself. There's a free trial of this available, so please go get yourself a copy and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I've been Dan, and thanks for watching.